Hey, hey, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What's going on, everybody? Overall energy, Nine of Cups here. So, Leo, I do see a wish coming true for you. Okay, there is a wish fulfillment for you. All right. Um, this is someone who I'm seeing who's coming back to you from the past, someone who you were at a crossroads with. Okay, this person was ignoring making a decision about you. Okay, they left you very confused. You could have felt like an option. Even if they didn't have options, you know, they just made you feel like an option. Okay, and there's a lot of confusion around the situation right now. But I feel there's someone here definitely who's thinking a lot about you. Okay, it's a lot of wishful thinking because you ended things with this person in the past. Okay, if not an ending, this was definitely a separation. But right now, you're thinking about moving away from them. Okay, you're emotionally trying to disconnect from this person. You have a lot of feelings for them. Okay, but it's like I don't, I can't help it. I just have to run away from my feelings right now because it's just not serving me. It's just not making me happy. This person, you know what? I feel this person could be someone, you know, who I feel I don't know why I'm intuitively picking up. You had more feelings for this person than this person did or than this person showed. Okay, because uh, this is telling me that um, just one second. Yeah, so this is telling me that you were definitely dealing with someone in the past, you know, who probably had the, all their attention, you know, on um, say probably their work. You know, I feel the person you're dealing with had a lot of prior commitments, okay? And you were there, like I'm getting like the passion was there, you know, and uh, you guys were, you know, you guys bonded very well, okay? But there was a big decision that needed to be made, but the person you were dealing with, they were caught up with other commitments and relationship may not have been a priority for this person. I'm getting you guys worked better as friends or best friends than lovers, okay? Friends with benefits, maybe, but I'm not getting that so much here okay but this person in the past year they were just not choosing you their focus was somewhere else that left you very confused here and now you're like what do i do i stay do i walk away what do i do okay but you're wanting to be quite emotionally disconnected from this person what you don't see coming over the temperance here the root of the issue is that i feel the person that you're dealing with they're taking things pretty slow okay this person is really slow moving towards you okay regardless of whether this person is slow or whether they're not okay when the temperance card, when the temperance card comes in it's asking you to calm the fuck down okay just calm down all right you don't have to be in a rush because that's just how the temperance is this is divine intervention so not no matter what happens okay no matter how much you try to rush this it ain't happening for sure okay the temperance card is also the card of reconciliation that is someone who wants to come back towards you wanting to reconcile okay but again no matter how much you try to push it, okay? This is divine timing is at play. Be patient, be careful, be a little considerate with your partner, okay? Success to this relationship is going to be only by bringing balance, moderation, letting go of your expectations, okay? And uh, stop controlling the outcome. Because things look pretty slow out here. I'm going to be very honest. No matter, no matter how much you try to force things, it'll only work out at the, at the time it's supposed to okay so being very patient with the progress is the key here page of cups in the near future this is someone who's coming towards you okay so yeah this could be an apology this could be a new person we're going to find out but i still feel this is someone here who, who, who's kept you very confused or who's thinking a lot about you but they're not doing anything about it okay let's see nine of cups what's the nine of cups here what's this nine of cups Yeah, you got a magician coming towards you. You've manifested this person or this is someone who's manifesting these things with you. I feel you manifested this person coming in towards you. Yeah, you ended a cycle with them. This is someone you ended cycle a cycle with, you ended things with, okay? Because I think somewhere, somehow you wanted a happily ever after with this person. But the kind of person that you're dealing with, this is someone, you know, who kept you at um, an arm's length. So the love is there, the love was there, yes. But... They were just too busy. Either this person had to choose between you and another person here or someone who just had other priorities that they were uh, obligated to because of which they weren't giving you the attention that you deserved, okay? The star, yeah. Someone has a lot of hope and faith that things will be okay, all right? Someone who's wishing, hoping, praying. Honestly, to me, you have three major arcanas, okay? Clarifying the nine of cups here. This is... So you're going to get a wish fulfillment for sure. 
okay with a star and nine of cups yeah for sure okay it's gonna make you very happy and uh, it's gonna be something that you've been wishing hoping praying for okay for the world here i feel with the magician someone out here is manifesting a next level with you okay someone wants to uh, take this entire situation to the next level because you ended a cycle in the past with this person here okay and whatever is coming towards you it's going to make you very very happy yeah very very happy i'm also getting someone here with the nine of cups here this person is not really someone who's ready for a relationship like i picked up in the past okay uh there's someone like you know what yes you make me happy yes i love you yes this that but when it comes to you guys being into a couple that's when i feel this person holds back that 10th cup you know it's like they're not ready to be in a committed relationship or not ready to get into that um harmony of where you guys are as a couple okay I don't see this person as non-committal. I feel this person is more busy somewhere else. What's the two of wands in the past? What's the two of wands in the past? Yeah, see? That's what I'm saying. Six of pentacles here. This person was very focused on their own self, okay? This has nothing to do with you. If you guys think that this person was purposely, things were imbalanced between you guys, I don't get that so much. Okay, maybe for a few of you guys, but the ones I'm reading for, I feel this person, yes, they did take more than they could give. But because this person was very career focused, okay, they were trying to add some value and balance to themselves okay this person was um again i'm getting someone yes who wanted to be generous but they couldn't because they had to make a choice here and the the problem here is you kept giving 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 and this person couldn't give back because their focus was somewhere else to a cup see that's what i'm saying the connection is there the love was there but it was just that with the high priestess here this person was keeping quiet this person was very quiet about what they felt about you because I feel this person probably felt that if they open up about their feelings and they completely put everything on the table, you would be a distraction. And maybe I feel that this person knew somewhere somehow that they weren't doing justice to this relationship. Okay, so this person was someone, you know, who felt really deep. But they weren't revealing their feelings okay they were fully connected to the universe okay but i feel they were uh, more focused on themselves rather than you although they had the love there okay but it's like you know how you get in a comfortable position when you love the person you know that person is out there with the six of pentacles which i feel you were right out there for them okay you were very generous to this person there was a lot of balance that you were trying to create i think you were doing the work also for this person and for yourself okay which finally got you so drained all right because of which on your mind is the eight of cups which makes you feel like you need to walk away or you want to walk away okay again uh these readings are predictive so if this hasn't happened there are chances this will okay all right tell me about the seven of cups what's the seven of cups yes right now there's a lot of confusion here let's see six of swords seven of wands Six of Wands. Hmm. We know what the confusion here is that now either you are confused or this person is confused here. Okay. I feel this person could be this person. Now, whoever this person is, someone out here is trying to make a choice about they want to come towards you. Okay. This person wants success with you, but their cards are up. Their guards are up because this person has trust issues out here. Seven of Wands to me is someone, you know, where it's no more friendly arguments. Okay, someone who's taking this fight, this argument, this defensiveness to a very to the next level. They're taking it very seriously out here. Okay. I think this is also someone here who's very confused about what they should do. Should they move towards you? Okay. I mean, should they move away from you or should they come towards you? That's the kind of energy I'm getting here. With the seven of wands here, this person is ready to fight for this connection. Also what I'm getting, right? But what's happening here, the seven of wands to me is also the card of where it's like, you know what? I know I want something, but I don't trust it, you know? So what happens automatically, this person tends to push away something that is good for them, okay? They push away what is a blessing for them. So that's what's happening here. That's what's creating the confusion. But the problem... What I'm seeing here is someone here has a lot of wishful thinking rather than being more practical and making a choice, you know, making a choice. Yeah. 
which is again making you walk away from this person with the eight of cups here. It's like if this person is not making a move, if they're so conflicted in their head, then what am I supposed to do sitting here, right? You didn't choose me in the past. You didn't make a decision in the past. I kept giving to this relationship. Nothing really came out of it. You kept quiet all this while, you know, and uh, you made me feel like there was a connection between us, which there is. This is a strong soulmate connection, but yeah. Okay. What's eight of cups here? Why is eight of cups on this person's mind? What's the eight of cups here on Leo's mind? Knight of Swords, Two of Pentacles, and the Eight of Pentacles. You want to talk to this person, you know? You want to talk to this person because you know that this uh, situation needs to be addressed right now. You know, with the Knight of Swords, you're, it's, a, it's a very argumentative energy, but I feel it's more like, look, I need the fucking answers. Like, why didn't it work out in the past? When we had such a strong connection, why the hell didn't this work out in the past? Okay, that's what I'm getting. But with the Knight of Swords here, I feel that you're juggling the idea of should you just uh, let this person go and focus on yourself and focus on your money, your goals, and just mastering your own craft and taking care of yourself, building your stability, security, or should you just go and like just talk to this person, get closure or get clarity about what you want? okay but right now i feel you're in the middle right now okay should i should i not but with the eight of cups here i feel you're trying to think more logically about the situation rather than thinking more emotionally because the knight of swords is a card where emotions are on the side this is someone here who wants to talk now okay they have you have so much to say it's like you want to confront this person rather than even converse with them you know it's like i need to confront this person i need answers you know like what the hell happened you know but you're just like in two minds what do i do should i just keep focusing on myself and wait for this person to come towards me with communication or an apology that is well deserved or should i just go to this person like what the fuck is going on i need closure now okay i think with the strength here you're trying your best to tame this situation you know it's like you're so close to wanting to talk to this person and just like you know like uh, hitting the roof but you're just not you're just still in two minds should i should i not because this person hasn't given you closure. It's like this person's kept you in the middle. All right, temperance here. This is the root of the issue. See, the problem here is that this person is taking their time. Okay. Uh, they're just too slow moving. They make you wait. They make you wait. What's the temperance here? Why is the temperance here? Yeah. There's been an ending here, okay? Something's happened. Something There's been a painful ending here between you guys. Yeah, but this person's going to communicate with you. Don't worry about that, okay? Don't worry about that. We have the Eight of Wands, the Ten of Swords, and the Page of Wands here. So this person's hurting too, okay? They feel like they've back, backstabbed you, okay? They feel like they've hurt you. They've, they've done something very wrong, okay? But this person is coming towards you, okay? They're moving very swiftly and they're wanting to communicate with you. And with the Page of Wands here, this person wants to take a brand new direction with you, okay? If not a brand new direction, they want to move forward with clarity. But this is like someone who's going to finally get that willingness and strength, you know, that uh, drive to finally message you, okay? And when that happens, things are going to move really fast for you. That's when in the near future we see the page of cups. Someone's coming in towards you. Again, this could be a new person here or this could be this person coming in towards you with an apology. My nose always itches when I'm doing a fucking reading. I don't know why. Why is the page of cups here in the near future? Who is this page of cups in the near future? Now, there could be an age difference between you guys. Okay. You could be older. They could be younger or vice versa. But I feel you're dealing with someone who's younger. What's the page of cups in the near future? <laughs> this person is so scared of yeah because they see you as the empress right and the three of swords yeah there's a lot of disappointment around this situation okay when this person's coming this is this is the one you let go this is the one you're walking away from they're coming towards you in the near future here but i feel that this person here is very unsure of whether you're going to take this person's offer or not because we have the four of cups here they're so scared you you might just shut them off they're very scared of rejection. They're very scared of rejection. Regardless, they're coming in, okay? They're shutting themselves to the opportunities or they're shutting themselves to the entire idea of coming towards you, okay? Only because of hurt or because of fear of rejection here. They have a lot of love for you, but either this person could be someone who's waiting for you to offer that cup of love or they were waiting for the right opportunity. I feel if you didn't go towards them, if you don't go towards them, 
that's when they'll come towards you anyways because with the empress here this person sees you as someone who is wifey material okay they they they, they see you as someone very abundant yeah they see you as marriage material but with the three of swords here something's causing a lot of stress okay this three of swords energy right they want to heal this connection they want to okay but i just i'm just getting here see this card this person just doesn't know how to it's like what the fuck do i do i fucked up i messed up what do i do how do i get leo back you know because leo's here sitting all pretty as the empress here i mean she's not even looking at me she doesn't even give a shit about me he doesn't give a shit about me you know you're in your power you know being all abundant doing you See, the eight of cups is on your mind, right? So good thing is that you've emotionally disconnected from this person. So, you know, nothing really affects you in a way that it was in the past year. But they're coming back, okay? They're coming back with the three of swords here. There are chances that this person is still, that stress is still around, okay? That stress, that tension, okay? It's still there in their energies. But I think they're hurting too much. And this has caused a lot of pain, not only to you, but also to this person. But they're just like, how do I make this right? What do I do? What do I say to make things right? okay so anyways this is your reading and if you want to know more details about how this person feels for you the link in the description to the extended is going to be below all right so i hope you enjoyed this reading leave your comments below like share subscribe and i will see you next time bye bye, next time, bye, -bye.